it is 11.58 p.m. I am exhausted. This week has been a complete whirlwind. It's felt like an eternity since I shot the last EDC Weekly. And oh my god, things have gone crazy. I said this in the last video, but the last time I was working on an EDC Weekly, I was waiting with bated breath to hit 12,000 subs. That was a week ago, and we blew past 15,000 yesterday. We are at 15.5. We're almost to 16,000. The way things are going, I mean, just... God, just, I can't thank you guys enough. It's, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. There have been over 100,000 views since the last EDC Weekly, at well over 100,000. I'm just, I'm humbled and amazed by you guys every single day. Every time I upload a video, it's amazing. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Rovivon. If you don't know who Rovivon is, they make really awesome, tiny, super bright flashlights. They're really tiny. They can go on a keychain. They can go in your pocket and just, totally disappear or you can clip one to your hat if you really want to but they come in polycarbonate aluminum stainless steel titanium and now in a luminous body they have even a uv version it emits ultraviolet light they're all really super cool but if you want to see more about the rovivon aurora flashlights i did make a video about the a3 the aluminum version it is linked down below and if you'd like to buy one or see more about it there is a link down below for every version of the Rovivon Aurora. And if you use my code on the Rovivon website, Best Damn EDC, you can get 10% off your purchase. So with that out of the way, this week I wanted to feature pins. There are pins in almost every single submission, so I figured it's a really great time to feature the best pins of the EDC Weekly. There are some really unique pins out there, so here we go. Here are four, four, you get a bonus one this week, four really cool everyday carry pins. Let's do the thing. first submission this week actually comes from Matt W. I shared this picture over on Instagram earlier in the month, but I had to feature it in this one because I love the EDC so much, but also because it has the staple EDC pin. There are tons of different pins and common pins in everyday carry, but probably the most standout pin in all of the EDC weekly submissions is the Fisher Space Pin Bullet because there are so many of them. It's beloved. It's my favorite personal pin. And this guy has it, so here we go. First up, Matt W carries the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in all black. His wallet of choice is a DIY wallet that he made himself, and this phone that he carries is the iPhone 10, which he carries in a Pelican protector case. The watch you see here is an Aviate Flyboy chronograph, and on that he has a Barton canvas strap. He has a Nitai's S-Beaner connecting his car key to a Victorinox Cadet in black a -Lux. The flashlight of choice here is the Streamlight Pro-Tac, and he has lip balm from Savex. The tiny notebook here is the Write in the Rain notebook, and in that he writes with the Fisher Space Pen Bullet, of course, and this one is in matte black with the clip. And the final thing you see here is a challenge coin. There you go, pretty simple. I sort of have an affinity for those self-healing cutting mats. That's the green mat with the grid on the bottom behind everything in this picture because it's kind of the, the token thing for a DIYer or a maker or a creator anyway. Matt says, he uses the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for daily cutting tasks such as boxes, rope, etc. The wallet he made himself based off a design found on Pinterest. The Flyboy Chronograph, which is one of the more obscure items in this EDC. He says it tells time, date, and has a chronograph, everything I need in a watch. It's affordable, great looking watch. Had it for about a year and I love it. Very high quality and looks good with whatever you wear. The Write in the Rain notebook, he says used for writing useful notes or to do lists. Bonus points because it's waterproof. The Fisher Space Pin, also waterproof. He says pairs perfectly with the notebook, small and easy to use and high quality. Finally, the challenge coin because it has sentimental value. Love the EDC, very simple. I really, really like the look of that, that chronograph, the Flyboy from AV8. It's unique. It's very similar to the, the Timex, but I just, I don't know, it's different. I like it. I like your wallet too. Good job on that. And uh, really nice EDC. So thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry into the August giveaway. But just as a reminder, what's up for grabs this month in the giveaway is a Rovivon flashlight in the luminous body. The second submission this week comes from Benjamin Park. And this one also has some pretty obscure gear in it, as well as some DIY leather goods. So without wasting any time, I don't think he mentioned any social media whatsoever. So let's jump into it. First up here, we have a homemade leather pouch. That pouch actually holds several pieces of his gear. 
such as the flashlight, which is the Phoenix P1D flashlight. It also holds the Leatherman Skeletool. This is the Damascus Blade version. That pouch also holds the custom pin, which he says was made by Basic underscore EDC. That's B-A-Z-I-C underscore EDC over on Instagram. And then finally, he also carries a Sharpie. Those are the things that fit in the leather pouch. And on top of that, he also has an Olamic Cutlery Wayfarer 247 knife. And finally, the last piece of his EDC is a homemade minimalist leather wallet. Again, very, very basic EDC. It looks great. And it's got some really unusual stuff, stuff you don't see very often. We see a lot of skeletal, or at least I do, on the back end with the EDC Weekly and all the submissions, but you don't normally see the Damascus version of the skeletal. It's a little more pricey and it's really, really nice. And you've also got some other things here like the knife. We've never seen that on the show before. And of course, custom gear. Anyway, Benjamin says, Hey Taylor, thanks for bringing back the EDC Weekly. As you can see, I make leather items as a hobby and made these two leather items pictured. The leather pouch holds my Leatherman flashlight pen and Sharpie in one compact package and on my belt. I use all of the above for work, plumbing, and it all comes in handy, especially the flashlight and Sharpie. The Olamic, or Olamic, I might be pronouncing that wrong. Also, I just pronounce things wrong. Get over it. It's going to happen. That's just how it is. Uh, there are so many different names and product names. I'm never going to get all of them right. So if you want me to pronounce it right, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to do better next time. But I'm not going to feel bad about not knowing the pronunciation of everything ever. Period. End of story. Back to it. The Olamic Cutlery Wayfarer Knife is my go-to for general use, mainly to open packages and other light-duty tasks. The pen was custom made by basic underscore EDC on Instagram and is definitely my favorite pen. It also makes a great fidget toy. My wallet was made using Wicket and Craig bridal leather and tiger thread. It has worked great for me for the past year. There you go. But anyway, thank you again, Benjamin. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The third submission this week comes from Kevin Quack. Kevin Quack, K-W-O-K. -K. You can find him on Instagram at Kev, K-W-O-K, K-E-V. KW, okay, it's spelled right there. And once again, there's quite a bit of unusual gear here. That should have been the theme, honestly. But anyway, this is a really cool EDC. Let's take a look. First up here, Kevin has an FOCX redefined wallet. His multi-tool of choice, and really the only blade here, is the Gerber Dime in black. And beside that, you see a Joby Griptite 1 micro stand. On his keychain, you see a TV Ninja remote, which I have no idea what that is. Never heard of it. Please, someone tell me what this is. He also has a pill capsule, and his phone of choice is the Google Pixel 2 XL and the Panda Color, and on that he has a D-brand skin. The glasses here are the Masunaga glasses, and he has a Pentel Color Pen Fine Point that is an S360-101. He has an AD marker in cool gray number two, and then finally, the pin here, the highlight pin, is the Rev Pin by Minimel. That was actually a Kickstarter project, and it's more than just a pin. It's a bolt action pin. It's very tiny and compact, but it also doubles as a fidget spinner. And I know fidget spinners are out. They've been out for a long time, but also I have one on my desk and I still mess with it from time to time. They went crazy, got really annoying because they got so popular, but they're still fun to play with. And having one in a pin, you can see where that can be really, really appealing. It looks kind of cool from the videos I saw. Anyway, Kevin says, I'm a UX designer and love traveling and taking photos. The tripod is small enough that I can pocket it and it comes with me everywhere. The Ninja Remote, here we go, is helpful when I'm at a restaurant and an important game is on, but the restaurant decides to watch CNN instead. I can switch the channels, usually drives people crazy, but that's fun too. That's awesome. I used to do that when they had phones that had IR blasters on them just like five years ago. I would go through and change the channels on TVs. I would go in and me being a little punk kid would turn on the TVs at places that had already closed. I watched a guy, he was watching TV in a loft in a downtown area in Noda in Charlotte. And he was in his loft watching TV and I just turned his TV off. And you see him, he clicks it back on and I turned it off again. I used to mess with people so much. Yeah, I was a punk kid. <laughs> anyway, the Pixel 2 has a D-brand skin because I hate cases. I use the pen and the markers to help me sketch. The wallet and pen are from two recent Kickstarters. Very cool, very unique stuff. I love seeing stuff like this that's not usual or typical. And I really need to just dig through and do like a bonus EDC Weekly with all the unusual pocket dumps. There was one that was from a medical professional. There was one from a friend of mine, a longtime watcher of the show and subscriber, who has a GDP, GPD, GDP, a little handheld gaming console in his EDC. There's just some tons of different gear out there that I need to feature and highlight. I just don't have enough hours in the day. 
So we'll get to it. I'm getting there. Anyway, Kevin, you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The third and final submission comes from Seb Regoutsus, Regosus. I, I don't know how to pronounce that even remotely. I know I'll slaughter it, so I'm not even gonna try anymore. You can find him over on Instagram at Spartacus underscore customs. This EDC also features several pieces of custom made gear, stuff they've made themselves and stuff from indie makers over on Etsy. So first up here, we have a Benchmade Mini Griptilian. The phone of choice is the iPhone 8 and he carries that in an Apple leather case. His earbuds of choice here are the Apple AirPods and the watch he wears is a Seiko SKX007. He carries a Zippo lighter as well as an Olight S10R baton. The sunglasses you see here obviously are Ray-Bans. Those are the Metal Clubmasters. And the leather wallet is from Bala Banoff over on Etsy. And then you also see several little tools here. There is an anchor, a dead fish, and a titanium map. Those are all from Picaroon Tools also over on Etsy. And finally, there is a bolt action pin and Beglary beads, both of which he says he made himself. So Seb says, I am a student and an amateur machinist. I use the phone and the AirPods daily and the watch is used to keep track of my time. I don't smoke, but I use the lighter all the time since my buddy is a smoker and the shades are used to protect my eyes from the burning Mediterranean sun. I don't always carry the light with me since my phone has a flashlight, but I carry and use my knife daily. I love fidgeting with the pocket tools and the big Larry beads. The pin is heavily used since I'm a... The pin is heavily used since I'm a student and always get questions about it and everyone gets impressed when I tell them I made it myself. I love your videos and I have more submissions coming since my items always change and rotate depending on the day. And to that note, you are more than welcome to submit to the EDC Weekly all you want, but just know that additional submissions don't necessarily get you any additional entries. The only way to get an additional entry, anything more than one entry, is to be featured here on this channel or over on the Instagram. I'm not keeping the website up right now just because I'm so, so busy, but if I ever go full time with this YouTube channel, I will relaunch the website as bestmedc.com. I have the URL, and I can set it up very easily, but I just don't have the time right now. I'm working around the clock, don't have the time, so let's make this happen. I'll go full time and then we won't have to worry about it, right? Let's just do that. But anyway, yeah, you can submit all you want. There are people who have submitted like 10 or 15 times this month, uh, but that doesn't get you any closer to an additional entry or anything. It's just if you want to get featured, you can try multiple things. Or if you have different setups, there are people who do different setups on different days of the week. Like if they have to go to work or if they have an off day, I get that totally. Submit if you want. There you go just putting it out there. But anyway, thank you, Seb. This is awesome gear. I love seeing people make their own gear and really I need to just feature that as well. Something where people, all the EDC submissions is all DIY stuff or not the whole submission, but anyway, you get the point. Anyway, thank you, Seb. You have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And if you want to be entered to win one of these Rovivon flashlights, just go to edcw.co fill out the form, upload a picture of your EDC to Imager or Dropbox or Google Drive or wherever you want to host the picture, paste the link at edcw.co, submit, fill out the forms, and if I like it, I'll pick it and feature it in a video. But this is the last EDC weekly of August, so all of the final features are there, they're done, they're out there, but you can still enter until the end of the month, which is uh, today. You have until midnight Eastern time, basically, to enter into this month's giveaway. But anyway, with all of that said, thank you all for submitting. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. Things are blowing up here, and I am so loving it. I'm eating it up. I love it so much. I can't wait to make more videos. I've never been so pumped to work and make more videos. I just, this box with the Giltec came in today and I, I was in the middle of about 15 things and all I really wanted to do was pull this table out from the wall, set up my unboxing setup and get into the box. But too many things going on. I gotta slow down and take a breath. Uh, but here we are. This is the EDC Weekly. Thank you all for watching. And like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this as well as a ton of other everyday carry content. Also follow us around the web. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. I am super active over on Instagram. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. With all that said, I think that's everything. Until next time, carry on.